Hello guys, welcome to another Garden Warfare 2 video. Today I'm playing the Quest of Command OP, who, in all honesty, isn't that good of a character. I mean, he's just got nothing that's particularly good about him. Like, his damage at close range is alright. His damage at range is just terrible. And, like, like, what's the point of using him over other pea shooters, like? His damage is meh, so, like, no really point of view than him over Agent P, who's another direct shot character. And he doesn't have any flash damage. So, like, when you're, like, so bad, like, compared to default P, like, what's the point of using him? Like, is Commando P an awful character? No, he's not, but he's just got nothing that really makes him worth using over other P shooters. Uh, he, like, he really needs, like, a damage buff. Like, at close range, he's hitting 13s with a meh rate of fire. Like, so so what? Like, like your DPS isn't that great. Like, might as well just use default P. Like, really? And at long range, your damage is awful. Like, if, like, if you're, like, 20 meters away from someone, you're hitting, like, 6 damage, which is just terrible. Just terrible damage. It really is like they buffed Commando P like two times, but they're not really fixing what his main problem is, and that's just his d damage and DPS is just just bad. Like sure, they increased his damage area so he doesn't lose damage so much over distance. Uh, I think between Garn, I think he well no he he got a. Uh, an ammo buff and a damage buff from like 12 to 13 and 30 to 35 ammo, which was nice. But, and a recoil buff. And I don't know why Commando P had so much recoil before they buffed that. That was ridiculous. But, but at the end of the day, they're not really fixing what Commando P's main problem is. And that's just his DPS is just too bad. Especially at range. Plus, like, oh, you could say, oh, he's meant to be used at close range. Fine, but even at range, even at close range, he's not that good. He's just worse than a lot of other characters. Especially P shooters, like, like Agent P. Agent P destroys you at close range. And sure, Agent P has less health because of that, but, I mean, the difference between primary weapons is huge. Like, definitely worse 25 health. But yeah, Commander P, eh, not the greatest of characters. Though, I don't think he is one of the worst characters ever. Like, people like say, oh, he's like one of the worst P shooters. Well, worst plant characters. Like, top five worst plant characters. Like, I mean, people are entitled to their opinion. And Commander P is worthy of being one of the worst characters. At least plant characters. But, I don't think... I don't think he deserves that. There are worse plant characters, like Armor Chomper and um, Party Rose. Party Rose is pretty garbage. But yeah, Phantom not that good. Oh, I killed that all star. Oh, I knew the, the game was lagging. Whoa, that's a new. That's something you can talk to a fellow Garden Warfare 2 player, like how little lag there is in this game. EA's done a great job with the servers, I can just say. 10 out of 10. Okay, that was just terrible. Okay, that was my bad. I should have been able to kill, like, I did get the shared for that kill, but... I mean, I should have been able to... Kill him myself. I was trying to get to that um, higher place, but my hyper ran out. So, and I def, and if I uh, got up there, that that would have been a way better position. This mech wouldn't have killed me. But in my defense, I let this mech kill me. I, he didn't kill me because he caught me out. It's because I I just wanted to die, to invite my friend back because he got disconnected, and that's what happened. Don't let anyone tell you that I died 
Because that mech just used Missile Madness on me out of nowhere. That's not what happened. I let him kill me. <laughs> what the hell? Two Zen Cactuses? Don't really see Zen Cactus that much. Not one of the more popular variants. But she's pretty good. I haven't played her in like forever. I really need to play her again. I'll get that heal flower up. <clears throat> I mean, Commander P is pretty bad against mechs, too. But then again, he's a pea shooter. He's got the counter. Got the pea gatling. Yeah, mechs. Worst nightmare. Pea gatling and EM peach. Especially when that EM peach is from a frozen citron. That's the winning. That's. That's mechs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, foot soldier, come out. I'm not gonna kill you. Mm. That that right there is why I think like Rocket Leap is way better. Whoa. Well, I just got deleted. But that right there is why I think like Rocket Leap is way better. Like you just get some height and you don't really distance yourself. Like a chompers by you. Like you don't really distance yourself from you just Temporary avoid their goop, but when you use it, you're pretty much dead. But with Rocket Leap, you can run away with it. Like I get, everyone has their preferences. Like if someone likes Rocket Jump, I mean, that's their opinion. But personally, I just think that Rocket Leap is just so much better. Mm. That's the ball, Sydney. That would have been. That would have been bad, but it wouldn't have killed me since P. Gowling did get a buff in this game. Like, I know some people think P. Gowlings are cheap and OP, but I don't think they're OP. Like, you pretty much make yourself a stationary target. Like, that's a huge con in, in this kind of game. Like, being stationary, you're just asking to die. Just all it takes is for a foot soldier or a dead beard or an astronaut to see you, and then bam, you're dead. But if you're careful with your pea gatlings, like make sure none of those characters are around or noticing you, then it's not bad, but really, like, I see people like spam pea gatlings, and it's just, I ZPG on them over and over again. Like, you can't just spam your pea gatling and not get punished. If there's a foot soldier, a good foot soldier player on the enemy team. Like, I see, like, like, what, like if I see people spamming, like, their sunbeams or their, um, uh, P-Galings on the enemy team and I'm, like, not playing a foot soldier, I kind of get frustrated when I see a foot soldier player on my team, like, not punishing them. Like, come on, man. He's right there. It's just a free kill. All you have to do is hit the button. You hit the button... And you get rewarded with a free kill. But no. I mean, you could say, wait, the ZPG is on cooldown? Possibly. But still, most foot soldiers, except Scuba and Tank Commander and Centurion, to a lesser degree, Centurion, they're pretty good against P Gallings with the primary weapons alone. Like, Camera Ranger, he can still kill them pretty quickly. It's not like you're missing your shots since they're stationary. Whoa, an imp grabbed grenade me the first thing he did? Whoa, that's original. Like, imps grab grenading you? That never happens. Just doesn't happen. Like, tell me the last time you've seen an imp and the first thing he did was grab grenade you. You can't do it, because that just never happens. Just never, ever happens. Okay, now nah, that engine in like, third time's a charm. You finally realize you just can't build that teleporter in peace. That rose finished him off. Poor guy. I feel his pain. Getting targeted while putting up the teleporter. He just wants that experience in peace. But he can't have it. I kind of just abandoned my friend there. That was evil. 
I don't even know why I retreated. There's nothing really scary. I'm just gonna say I fell off by mistake. That's what happened. Mm. Oh, that juicy mech kill. I hate getting pee gatling when I use my mech. Just a waste of a mech. <laughs> nice try, Mr. Super Brains. But you failed. <clears throat> yeah, when when he used his um uh kick, he pretty much lost that fight. Since he lost all my maneuverability, I was just free to use hyper, and his fist couldn't do anything. And his beam well, it was too slow. Even for command up he's DPS. That was lucky. I saw my life flash before my eyes there, but Man, if he just hit me like one more time, I would've been dead. But, hmm, got lucky there. This is a complete waste of a beam bomb. Hey, no one's in the garden. Might as well just throw a beam bomb there. Yay, that's smart. Yeah. Sometimes my beam bombs aren't very good. <coughs> Rip. <laughs> My chemist is going to camp over there. Don't know why. <laughs> that makes me remember in Garden Warfare 1 seeing Dr. Chester snipe. That was hilarious. Like, oh no, there's Dr. Chester showing me from across the map. No, I'm doomed. <laughs> oh, now this. This was beautiful. Are they just camping up here? And I just killed their whole team. I killed like five people in like 15 seconds there. That was just gorgeous. If you're going to camp up there, you got to at least look behind you. At least every once in a while. Oh, but, oh no. What the? That was just, that gravity grenade. I think that imp should be in prison. Gravity grenade plus imp card. That is just dumb. I will never understand why players do that. Like, you gravity grenade them. They're standing perfectly still. Might as well use an ability that requires no aim. Like, it's like, why use an ability that doesn't require aim when they're stationary? It's pretty easy to aim then. Aim kind of is for like a character that's moving around like crazy. Kind of like um, a hate brain pea shooter or a rose or a citron ball rolling around in the garden like crazy and trust me there are no shortage of those in multiplayer I trust me <clears throat> you think if you play garden war for like at least five hours you know about the citron balls rolling around in the garden you might be one of them yourself you terrible person just kidding but seriously I hate those citron balls ah so annoying it's very satisfying to just grab grenade them and just watch them die. But don't but then they'll be back. Like 10, 20 seconds later, back doing the same thing. Over and over and over again. Like jeez. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate people who put down potato mines there, they're so cheap. Like that Max Rank guy on our team. Well, not max rank. He's not max rank. He's 40 levels below max rank. But to that guy, you suck. Putting freaking potato mines there. Yeah, that disgusts me. Honestly, I think putting potato mines there should be illegal. Like, um, 500 hours of community service and one year in prison for putting potato mines. On a portal in an online video game. Yes, that seems fair. Fair punishment. Mwahaha. Okay, that's stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a chemist. Oh, the beam bomb. Ah, oh, dang it. He saw it. It's terrible. The plan was foiled. By evil chemist man. By evil science man. Well, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I think the chemist kind of sucks. 
Like, I know some people won't agree with that, but, I mean, I think his play style is way too risky. Like, you have to be at close range and only close range, like, I, I don't know, that's... Like, personally, I like my characters to be not helpless at range. Like, that's just me. I'm sure people will disagree with that opinion. Like, what, how dare you say that chemist is best character? Oh, if you like the chemist and think he's one of the best characters, that's fine, like. Like, maybe you're this god-level chemist player. Like, I'm a scrub chemist player. Which I am. I'm not the best chemist player ever. But I just think he's just kind of meh. Like, I'm just so paranoid. Whenever I get close to someone, bam, EM Peach, bam, Husker Talk, bam, Rose, just use everything. I'm just scared of all the stuns in this game. When I'm playing, like, a close-range character like chemist. It's just scary. Very scary. Oh, Megara. There I am. Going crazy. <laughs> why are you just standing still there? <laughs> I don't get why people stand still. Yeah. What's that? that there, there he's doing it again. Just standing still. If you stand up still, don't don't be surprised if you just get deleted out of nowhere. You kind of deserve it. <clears throat> like standing still, you're just asking for like a random ZPG to the face out of nowhere. Okay, I don't know what that silver means is doing. I don't know. I don't know. What's that game where you just dance around a pole and you fall down? I don't know. Oh, he was playing Ring Around a Rosie. <laughs> That's what he was doing. I figured it out. Excellent. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they couldn't really care at this point. Like, this point is not super hard, but it's not exactly easy. Yeah, but it doesn't help that I start playing like garbage, like really garbage around here. Don't really do anything for the rest of the game. Oh, look, a retro gallon. Oh, my goodness. Getting stunned with a chemist by you? Yeah. Not surprising that I died. The chemist's not at, at range, he's trash, but at close range, damn, you did. Bad Kim. Still think you're terrible. Oh look, leg. That's the original. I'm gonna blame the legs for that death. Wasn't that my fault? It was the legs' fault. Taha. I win. Stupid leg. Oh my god, I'm so sick of Sheriff Factory not recording the last 30 seconds of audio. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, Mini ran aside on Commando P. He's not the best character ever. He's not bad. He definitely needs a damage buff and a damage uh, over distance buff. I think that'll make him a a good or decent character. But I don't know. I don't think Popcat will do that. But thank you guys for watching the video. and And I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.